Hey guys, what is up? Uh, we need to talk. Um, it's been uh, four weeks, three or four weeks since my last video, um, which is a really long time, going from like the summer making videos every single day to going three weeks out making a video. It was really weird, but I don't want you guys to think that I just wasn't making videos and that I didn't remember. Um, I didn't forget. It was just really hard getting back into the swing of things with school. So this video is an updated video to a video that I made 10 months ago now called Depression in College, What No One Tells You. That honestly is one of my most viewed videos um, ever and also one of my most commented on and the comments of like you know what you guys have been saying have just been super supportive of you know my videos and what I do but then also too just like you know everything that I went through last year and so many people wanted an update on that video that I was like give the people what they want you know so I'm giving you guys an updated video right now um, I actually watched that video back before deciding to make this one and some things that I got a lot of questions on were does it get better. Um, first of all, last year I was not battling clinical depression, anything super serious. It's just kind of the depression that comes along with putting yourself in a new situation, aka coming to college and being a college freshman. Um, so it was a mixture of that and then just really not knowing where my place was in college, having to find my place. And if anybody out there is worried, I can tell you it gets better. It gets so much better. Here I am on the other side telling you that I'm so happy, um, but I'm not, okay, like, I'm not going to lie to you. Life is, life's hard. Um, I apologize for this banging. But life is hard. It's a twisty and turny event that you just go through on a daily basis. Um, but you're going to have your ups and you're going to have your downs. And one thing that I talked about in the video was a lack of motivation. Um, I think the motivation, the lack of motivation that I was experiencing last year, yeah, that was definitely depression. Um, but this year, I think things have been a lot better just because, and I talked about this in my past videos, I've found a community of people that, you know, are like-minded in the way that I am. Um, they love God, and that has really been what I've chosen to involve myself with here on campus, um, is a campus ministry. I understand that that's not going to be what everybody decides to do, what everyone decides to get involved in. It might be a frat, it might be a sorority, it might be a club that you get involved with and you find that community and that family aspect um, and that gives you you know that purpose that I kind of talked about in my last um, depression video uh, but the point is you do want to find purpose you do want to find things that you know give you that drive and they light that fire in your heart and make you want to pursue things and just learn things um, Again, as for motivation, I still don't have the motivation to do my homework, you know? It's just kind of like a thing that you battle with as a college student. Um, but there really is no remedy for that. It's just kind of like, do your homework, you know? Stay in school, get your grades, don't fail out. Um, but that aside, it really has just been... It's been a good year so far. I mean, we're only in the third week of classes, but watching that video back, I realized just that I was in a very dark place. And I realized that, you know, you can't make a video to like tell people how to get out of that. You can really only make a video to tell people you're going through it and just provide that support system for people. Um, and again, this is kind of like what this video is for you guys. I'm not making this video to tell you like, hey, if I could go back and like smack myself, I'd tell myself not to be depressed, you know? You have to go through it. Like, I'm a strong believer in you have to go through certain things to get to where you are. And I feel like the only way I would be able to feel as happy and confident in myself and who I am here on campus is because I went through that. And so there is no, there's no formula for how to not go through depression. There's no formula for how to get through it. Um, 
all I can tell you, I can give you some basic principles that I can think of off the top of my head, and that is be true to yourself, um, be open to developing yourself, that could be emotionally, spiritually, uh, mentally, physically, um, and keep searching for that community until you find them. They're out there, and don't ever give up hope that you're too different or you're just, you know, like, you just don't belong somewhere. Don't ever think that. It's so important to think and stay positive and think that there are people on campus who not only feel the same way you do, but have the same interests as you do and want to find you as well. Someone on campus is looking for somebody like you and the same way that you're looking for them too. Um, I guess that's my inspirational phrase of the video. The other thing that I can definitely tell you guys is that college is this weird growing period and you take every little thing that happens to you in college, like minuscule, like this big, and you multiply it and you're like, Phew. it's like, it's this huge thing that overcomes your life and just like dictates your emotions and it's so serious to you at the time that you're like, that is my life. My life is over if, you know, I get a bad grade on this exam or my life is over if, you know, I decide not to be friends with this person anymore. It's like a crazy merry-go-round of emotion, but it's not the end-all be-all. And I think if there is one thing that I could go back and tell myself, it was that everything that I was going through in the grand scheme of things in college, like I mentioned this in my first depression video, but in the grand scheme of college, you're supposed to enjoy it. Don't make the small things too big. Always remember that, you know, life is so much bigger than that. Um, depression is the small, depression in college is the small part of what you will go through. When I made that video, I was in my freshman year of college. I'm now a sophomore in college. Um, a lot has changed for me. I live off campus. Um, I have a leadership position in my church. Um, I know a lot more people. Um, but the only reason I got here is because I went through so much just emotionally. Finding my place, um, finding my friends, finding people who had the same ideals and wanted to do the same things that I wanted to do. and. You know, it was just like, it was a really long time coming getting here, but now that I'm here, I realize like you do have to put in the work to find people. And it's hard to put in work when you're depressed and you're tired and you don't feel like, you know, putting yourself out there. But I don't know. I think one of the other things too is when you're a freshman, you just don't have that same confidence. You know that you're the new person on campus. You know you have no idea what you're doing with your life and you don't even know where you're going for lunch. So being a sophomore, I definitely have a lot more confidence. I definitely know a lot more people. And I think the biggest thing that I want to focus on this year is helping the other freshmen get to the level that I'm at. Um, I've seen so many people on campus that, and through my ministry that they just come in with confidence, you know? And I'm like, that's amazing. That wasn't me, but that's amazing, you know, that you can be that way immediately. Um, but I recognize that, you know, the majority of people were like me. They were, you know, really questioning who they were, going through depression, um, not sure where they were going to land and if they were going to like where they ended up. And I just really want people watching this video to know that it's something that you go through, but it's something that you get through. And you're so much stronger on the other side. Um, that trial and error of not knowing who you are or where your life is taking you, on the other side it looks so beautiful. Like I have since dropped my old major, my old double major that I was going to do when I made that video 10 months ago. And I've added another double major um, I'm now double majoring in international studies and journalism. My classes are amazing. I love what I'm learning. I love who I'm meeting. And it really is all about, like, when you meet like-minded people, you're like, this is what I'm here for, you know? Like, this is the experience of it all. So I want everyone watching this video to know that I did get through my depression in college. Um, it's still something that, you know, I'll go through from time to time. But it is important to know that 
amidst all these friends and these new experiences and the things that happen to you, have quiet time with yourself. Always take time to reflect on yourself and just know who you are when you're by yourself, when no one else is around you. That makes you stronger in the long run. Just have, have an amazing year. And if you're a freshman watching this video, you're gonna get through it. You're gonna be A-OK. -okay. And you're gonna be so happy very soon. So I hope this video helped. I hope it wasn't too rambly. I, I wish I had done this video before they started banging on the walls, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna end the video right now. Okay, this is Casey Molina, over and out.